I can see everything. Everything. Turning around. Everything. Turning around. For Turning my good. Amen. And amen. Yes, from the media section. Testimonies all over the power of God moving through on the social media and testimonies coming from all over with showers of blessing touching the people of God. We we'll bring you some testimonies as we are receiving them live on the social media. Here they are. This one says, Brother Joseph Oluwa Olorun Saye from Ibadan, Oyo State, says that Ulsa disappeared after the prayer of the man of God. He's been battling with this Ulsa for over one year. But after the prayers of the man of God, Ulsa is gone. Praise the Lord. Pimtris Imadi on YouTube testified, I've been having very painful arrangements on my lower abdomen i've had surgery yet no solution but as the general superintendent pastor dr wf can we minister tonight that pain disappeared praise the lord also on the social media we find this testimony this one talks about a mother that had arthritis and her right ear was blocked after the ministration as she wrote it she said after the ministration of baba kumuyi she initially was jubilating about her open ear and then she found out that even her legs with which she couldn't walk arthritis had disappeared she began to dance double testimony praise the lord we return to the state overseer. Amen. I can see everything. Everything. Everything turning around for my good. Can you see everything turning around? Everything turning around. Everything turning around. We have a live testimony now coming on social media from Benin City, south of Nigeria, at those states, Deeper Life High School. Olumesi and I'm from Deeper Life and I'm from Deeper Life High School, Bini Campus, Edo State. I have a testimony to share. I want to thank God for protecting my life. Throughout last week, I had severe stomach pain, but yesterday, as Pastor said, I should lay my hands on this, on the place that is paining me. Throughout the whole day, my stomach has stopped. Up till now, my stomach is not paining me again. Hallelujah. And now we we'll take you to. Okay, we have another one still from Benin City. And uh, he he has healed my. He has healed my eyes. When the pastor said that we should touch wherever is paining us, I touched my eyes. And when he said that we should check ourselves, I checked myself in the night. I I saw without my glasses. I was able to see without my glasses in the night. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is David Kadui. I'm from Bipala High School, Benin Campus, Edo State. 
I have to thank God for healing me since for a few days before the program. I had severe stomach pain and backache. But on Saturday, when the GS came, he said that we should place our hands on the place that was pinning us. I placed my hand on my stomach. So when he said that we should check up on ourselves, I moved around. My stomach was not paining me anymore. I was healed, and up to now, the pain has gone in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. My name is Daniel Vitri. I'm here on behalf of my daddy. Last month, August, he, he was sick, and they took him to head bear, and they run tests for him, and later confirmed that he has ulcer. So on Saturday, when we have this defense solution, I wrote in a prayer request that let God heal my dad from ulcer. When he came home that Saturday, nothing happened. So on Sunday, when he went to the service, coming back, he told us that when pastor was praying that Saturday, he got his healing. And I told him that we should check up. And then they told him that he should not eat Gary. So I brought Gary for him, I took it for him. I said, let him take it. And he took it and nothing happened. Now my daddy is here, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we take the first testifier here. The first testifier, please tell us your name and where you come from, what the challenge was, and what the Lord has done for you. Everyone, Praise let's uh, give attention. This, I Praise decide. the Lord. Listen to the testimony, please. My name is Samson. I come all the way from Kaduna. I'm here with my mom. Took her all the way from Kaduna in Karko local government. My mom here has been suffering from sight problem since all the way 2019 when she started complaining about sight issue to god be the glory i took her that since our father is visiting abuja i will come with her to kaduna to god be the glory my mom is going home seeing clearly and secondly the double blessing she normally has stiff leg she normally feels like blood is not flowing but she's in this program to God be the glory. All the way she has been under this rain, but her leg is warm. She never feel it again. By the grace of God, she is totally here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's check her up. Let's check her up. Can you uh, show her your finger? Shake One, your leg. Shake your leg. Two, you can see her. Three. You can see her. You can see her. How many hands are these? A boss song? A boss song? A boss song in it? Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. My name is Victor Brimo. I'm from Buhari Region, Academy District, Fortress Group. I want to give God the glory for what he did for me on Sunday. For the past few years now, I've been having a kind of, uh, no, I can't read without glass. So I went to eye clinic. They gave me this eyeglass for reading. But when I was using it, I discovered that instead of the eyeglass to be helping me, it was making it worse. So even the letters I can read, I couldn't read it again. And even the supplement they gave me, I was using it. I discovered that it was not helping me. So I have to drop the supplement and the eyeglass. So I was now using uh, my phone. Whenever we're in the church, or I want to teach a side teacher, I will use my phone to board it so that we see the character very well. So, to my greatest surprise, when I came on Sunday morning, before Pastor started the message, he just prayed. So, as usual, I wanted to open the Bible, then I will use the phone to support it. When I look at the Bible, I discover I can see it clearly. So, I was now reading from that Sunday to date. In fact, I'm reading clearly. Even the itching on my eyes, everything is gone. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! And this one is even bold. In fact, 
divine solution. That one is too cold. Let me read this. This carrot. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Rock of ages, clear for me. Praise the Lord. The Lord has healed him and he's healed the uh, difficulties in seeing, in reading, gone, and he's praise gone forever. Praise the Lord. Next testifier. Children of God, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Ifoma Anthony Obi. I'm from Suleja, uh, uh, Fountain District. So I want to give, I want to thank God. I want to thank God for what God has did in my life. I, I came here on Friday, the fourth day. I was praying to my God, my God, I depend on you and I lie in you every day. After the prayer, I discovered my leg, my broken bone is, is okay. And it's fine. I was, also, I, going, I was running to, to, to where we keep vehicle. I was running to that place with my son. So I really thank God for what God has done for me. Yesterday night I slept. When I woke up that, mo that year, this morning, I saw that my, that my one eyes have, have, have like, uh, uh, the thing just closed. The thing refused to open very well. But I thank God that after the prayer of the man of God this evening, I am, I am, I am okay now. I am fine. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The eye right, that couldn't open well is opening very well now. Before the next testifier, those who are connecting online, you uh, please uh, link up and uh, submit your testimony. You can do so by clicking the link that you have and submitting your on uh, your testimony online, or you submit through the WhatsApp numbers you see on the screen, or you can send it through plus two three four eight one five eight one nine one zero one seven. The number again plus two three four eight one five eight one nine. 1017. You submit your testimony. We want to know what God has done for you and we want to rejoice with you. Let's have the next testifier. Now. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so, so excited. I don't even know how to express how I feel right now. On Friday, you guys know what happened. The rain, it rained on Friday and also yesterday. And on Saturday, I got my first healing. I usually have this severe headache. I will take drugs to come today, to go tomorrow. That is just, as in, it's just like that, very constant. Sometimes I will just, like, distance myself just to get myself. But on Saturday, when I came here, after the uh, man of God finished preaching, I had this, I, this coldness in my head. This usually happens whenever I expose myself to sun. My glasses have sunshade just to pre uh, prevent this headache. But that Saturday, I was healed. I wanted to testify that night, but I was like, wait, let me wait. We are still coming here on Sunday. We'll stay under the sun. Let me see what will happen. On Sunday, we stayed throughout. I was even at the front. I went home, nothing. On Monday, the same thing. Today, I came very early. Nothing happened. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And again, my second testimony, um, some doctors will say I'm asthmatic, some will say it's pneumonia. So I don't even know which one to believe. But I usually have this difficulty in breathing, sometimes severe chest pain, whenever I expose myself to sun or to dust. But on Friday, it rained. The cold was severe, nothing happened. Yesterday, we stayed throughout, from beginning of the program to the end, to the end of the closing prayer. When I went, because of the cold of Friday and yesterday, I was expecting an attack. When I went, I was just sneezing and sneezing. So I was like, cover yourself, cover yourself. I was like, I'm fine. Yesterday, I slept like a baby. No hardness in my heart. There is no difficulty in breathing. As you can hear me now, I'm talking to you very well. Usually, maybe I'll be rushed to the hospital, be on ingestion or admission. But like, I've been having this, uh, this asthmatic attack for like since 2012, 2011. That's when I discovered that I have this issue. But right now, I'm perfect. There's perfect. nothing wrong with me. Perfect. The Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord has done it. The Lord who has done it for her and for others, we do it for you in Jesus' name. Let's worship the Lord together. Sing and praise the name of the Lord. He's a miracle walking God. Sing, everybody, worship the Lord. Let's worship the Lord together. He's a miracle working God. Give him glory. Give him praise. He has done it. He's the Alpha and Omega. 
He's a miracle working God. Amen. Our miracle working God has done it. He has saved so many people. He has healed so many. And a uh, lot of testimonies have come. Let us lift up our voices and just give him glory. Give God the glory. Lift up your voice. If you can raise up your hand, raise up your hand and wave your hands to the Lord and say, Lord, thank you. Father, thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we worship you. Thank you for what you did on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday, and yesterday and today. Glorify the name of the Lord. Everybody, worship the Lord. Give him glory wherever you are, connected online or in various locations. Worship the Lord. Give God the glory. Give God the praise for what he has done. Magnify the Lord. Glorify his name. He's a miracle working God. He has done it. Give him glory. Give him praise. And I want you to pray that the blessing will abide and multiply. And the name of the Lord will be glorified. Let's pray for our Father and the Lord. The Lord will renew his strength. More anointing, more grace, more power. And God will use him more. The next point of call for global crusade is Port Accord. Let's pray the Lord will prepare him. And God will prepare everybody to connect and collect the fullness of the blessing of God. Pray. Pray. Let's worship God. Let's thank him. Let's praise the name of the Lord for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A louder amen. amen. Heavenly Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We thank you for ministry unto us from Friday to this time. Thank you for the demonstration of your power. Thank you for the people you saved, for the people you healed, for the people you delivered. We magnify and adore you in Jesus' name. Now we are praying that the blessing will be permanent. Renew your servant you have used to minister unto us. And Lord, we pray you use him much more to your glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. Go with us as we go. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A bigger amen. Lord, amen. God bless you. Remain in the blessing of the Lord.